Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. So this is season two, episode one, and it's all about Office 2013. Let's start it off with Excel. Now I got this Word, not Word, <laughs> I got this Excel document with uh, a bunch of data entered in all the cells. As you can see, 100 plus uh, information. One of the cool things that I found out uh, that Excel has is this flash fill. Uh, let me explain. So let's say uh, you need to create a login uh, column and you need to start providing information for these users in your database to log in. So let's say uh, it's evan.santos at, I don't know, uh, BJ Tech News Productions dot com. Now this is a long email address, right? A long login. If you hit enter and you continue doing it for the other one, you see what happens? Flash fill is a cool feature with, which automatically detects what you're trying to do and it auto fills everything for you which is pretty cool. Now if you hit enter, you get a nice little drop down little menu option for the flash fill you can undo the flash fill, you can accept the suggestions or you select all 199 and change the cells. I'm going to accept the changes and I'm going to double click right here on the column to adjust to the size of it and as you can see rather than me manually entering all the login information because I want to keep everything consistent Excel noticed that the first cell is something like a pattern and it kept it now another cool thing that I noticed is the flash fill, you can also be able to separate things. Now if I say first and let's say do a column for last, which is basically first name and last name, and let's say I start doing this, Evan, and then see automatically flash fill, flash fill automatically knows what I'm trying to do, I hit enter. I accept it with the drop down and there we go. Also taking consideration it also is taking the capitalized letter so let's say if I do the last name Santos capital S hit enter and I do Harvey automatically it's doing it for all of them and I hit enter get the nice little drop down and just accept the su suggestions and you're good to go. So that's one of the cool features that Excel has and it's flash fill. Now a pretty cool feature that I noticed with Excel is filtering records using a timeline. Yeah, a timeline. Now pivots in Excel are, they go together like peanut butter and jelly. And a lot of people use pivots for analyzing data and doing all kinds of things. As you can see, I have a spreadsheet right here with several entries. I have a, a timesheet right here or a spreadsheet. Uh, that has a drop down and it has a bunch of dates and it has a sum of prices. Prices, actually. Sorry, guys. Um, so I'm going to select this, the first row and I'm going to go to insert. And with insert, right here in the filter section, there's two new options. I'm going to go over the timeline. And the timeline has only one particular table, as in date. Uh, most likely, um, you're gonna have different tables to pick, but you know I'm only we only have one table selected within this pivot. So I'm gonna press OK, and once you press OK, you get this nice little movable chart kind of thing timeline um, that you're able to maximize the size of it, as you can see, which is pretty cool. Uh, right here on the upper right hand side, you're able to change the days like years quarters months by default days I'm gonna do let's say by days and you see because I chose July 1st it gave me July 1st information on the side you're able to drag and drop let's say I want the first 10 days of July and it would give me the first 10, 10 days of July you can actually even pick up I want the 18th to the 27th and it would give you that information which is pretty cool like if you're analyzing a bunch of data um, the timeline will make everything a little specific especially 
if like uh, your boss wants you to find information for a particular month or certain months rather than you searching the database you can use timeline to get and navigate there to navigate to your database a little quicker so I think timeline is a great feature especially up the upper right hand corner you can change it to years quarters um, months I think months by default that's what you get and by days uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode if you have any questions please leave comments below uh, please Twitter please Facebook this video also gives me thumbs up I always love the thumbs up and I catch you guys on the next time peace out